Shout out to my boy that Spirit Sprinkler, not Jerry Sprinkler. Spirit Sprinkler, man, yo, man, big souls, nigga, young Drake, though, nigga, it's up here, G Hood, Frank, nigga. Wow. Gang, gang. Spirit Sprinkler, we take the game. Appreciate you, boy. Ah, Spirit Sprinkler, bitch. Gang shit. Gang shit, y'all know the fuck going on for my ass. Motherfucking spirits beating us, nigga. Yeah, shit beating us, nigga. I'm pulling these niggas in and showing these niggas, like, bro, you, you can go through a lot, but it's how you overcome this shit. I'm good. It's like, I know at the end of the day, I ain't gonna crash myself out. What about the, um, can you say kind of has some history with, with the you know, Ape Gang or you knew about them before, like, like, Ape Gang? What's what's your history with them, and then even with just all right, CJ, all right, outside in people look at like CJ put them on. I know, I know Almighty and them niggas will say that, that he didn't. You know, what I'm saying they try to say that it's the other way around, but it you know CJ made Planet of the Apes and he's saying all this ape shit yeah. that kind of introduced that shit. So then when fools started popping up, it made sense. You know, what I'm saying and he's, they doing he in the videos, they doing doing songs and shit together, but like you know just the way that they that whole relationship kind of like, you know, crumbled and, you know, ended up turning into what it turned into, you know what I'm saying, with the whole Jada and shit. Like, where's your, you know, what's your beginnings with, with them type shit? Uh, I really, I, I kind of started fucking with Lil Bro now, like, 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 like when, I, when I came home, I knew a couple of them, like A Game, Mosky, um, I kind of knew Lil Day. Mm -hmm. I knew a couple of niggas from the project, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mostly I know all of his little, all his brothers and shit. You know what yeah. Saying? My, my nigga, I came up with them. So it's like a few of them little niggas I already knew. So it's like, damn, my little bro thug with them. So, boom. So I end up thugging. And I'm the side of town I was on. She had a lot of niggas over there. So it just like, became a constant thing every day. You know what I'm saying? I was thugging Lil Keith. Yeah. And, uh, I think that Keith ended up going to jail, mm -hmm. and I ended up just going to the county one day to see my little cousin, mm -hmm. my female cousin. She was in jail, so um, I couldn't see her, so I just get on on the ground. I'm just on some on some dry shit, like bro, who in, who in um Tarrant County, goddamn me, that, that's that's gang. Now I'm finna just drop go visit them, so somebody dropped the Keith shit. Yeah, so I just went and seen them. Then they like, damn, bitch, you fuck me up, bitch, you come up here and visit me, bitch. You know, he really know me like that. Yeah, and then my Kenfo walk in there. And my and the kids like nigga, what the fuck you doing with this nigga? You know this nigga. Uh, you know what I'm saying? My Kimfo used to talk to the kid mama a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? For a long time. Then one of my cousins married to his manager. So I'm like, but I've been knowing this nigga since he was a kid. Back. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like now I've been knowing this nigga way before he was a, out the porch in school and everything. Like now I've been knowing this nigga. So niggas go back. So it's like, yeah, uh, like I so I thought me and his whole year, we together every day, every day. I'm with a little Moski every day, so yeah. Them, and then um, when the Taylor got out, kind of started thugging the boat, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, I see, see the type of little nigga this little nigga is. Yeah. And thugging him too. And we started thugging each other and shit like that. Little bro really was on some push this little nigga shit to the extreme. Like, bro, I'm gonna put this little nigga in the position. I'm like, shit, I don't hear I'm chilling anyway. I mean, I'm gonna kill <laughs> right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm my boy talking with the other little niggas in the streets right now. So, mm -hmm. That's how that shit went, but bro really was on some push this nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all watching this nigga text certain niggas, just check out my little bro shit, you know what I'm saying? Text say cheese, like nigga, you know what I'm saying? I know we ain't fucking with each other, but look, these check my young nigga out, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Watching all that type of shit going on. With and with that like, you know how he was pushing J Dub, like, um, you know, like, bro, it this to me it seemed genuine, but like, from the other side, you know, within they they said that, and even from interviews I've seen with J Dub, they said that like niggas felt like niggas was like little bro niggas too much or like trying to be above like, where 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 was the disconnection like, I fuck the change shit like it had to be something deeper like I don't know because she's like always been the same nigga bro to to me like. Mm -hmm. bro, my big bro here, like, like these niggas know CJ too, bro. I, that nigga always been the same attitude, having that nigga. You would have to get in, get into get arguments into with this nigga. Like, bro, this this been my brother since yay. Like, you know what I'm saying? And a couple of A-game niggas knew CJ already before this. So it's like, bro, y'all know, like, 
this nigga always been a shit talk. He, you gonna get into it with CJ, bro. That nigga always yeah. got a five back with something. Even if he right, even if he wrong, it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like right. he gonna, yeah, like, bro, he'll come right. back later on and tell you, like, ah, bro, I fucked up. I knew I was wrong. Yeah. I had to sit there and think like, damn, that hoe is right. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, yeah. I did. So, but that hoe gonna all you down. That's been him, like, yeah, boo, you know that. Everybody know that. Everybody who been thugging with CJ around CJ know, like, man, this nigga CJ. That's him. Yeah, that's his personality. Yeah, that's just that nigga, bro. That nigga ain't changed one bit. That nigga still is the kid CJ. Like, that nigga still, you know what I'm saying? Like, my little bro, my little bro, little junior, I always say, bro, that nigga is still the kid CJ to me, bro. I still, yeah. every time if we get into it, bitch, I always think about this. You still the kid, bitch. You always <laughs> want to get into it. That, that be CJ, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I watch him bump heads with a bunch of problems, bro. And, I ain't never seen him bump heads with none of them little niggas though. Like, you know what I'm saying? I never seen him speak bad about none of these little niggas. So it was like, wherever this shit came from, it threw us off. It threw me off for sure. Cause I was like, Cause he was cool. Seen, yeah, I ain't never seen bro really have nothing bad to say about you little niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I never. Yeah. None of that. Anything, he wants you niggas to be in position. Like shit, like 21, like nigga, you didn't even rap. Yeah. Bro, let you ride, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, my little Kim folk was rocking the, the hood every time. For real. He was like, nigga, bro, want to rap. Like, yeah. What you want to do? This side, you know what I'm saying? He's like, nigga, you want to let them rock the like, like, train? I'm like, shit, let them nigga, you know what I'm saying? They they popping right now. Let them niggas go. Little Carlos ain't going, you know what I'm saying? He don't want to rap. <coughs> you want to let them rock it, let them rock it. You know what I'm saying? That's how he ended up with the hood every time. And, you know what I'm saying? He started wanting to do his little rap shit, you know what I'm saying? He seen how little Zayda and shit was going out and he wanted to have fun with this shit too, you know what I'm saying? And that's kind of like, it's like a, kind of like a, like how we be watching the shit, we kind of like joke about it, but it's like, niggas really kind of made a rap, like a bunch of rap careers off of that fucking, that, beef. that, that shit, beef. bro. Yeah, bro, that nigga created a bunch of these niggas just off the beef. And a bunch of them come trying to have the same type of little flow. Yeah. The CZ flow, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's like... It's crazy because, yeah, like, to this day, it's all right. Yeah, bro, Jada's not your recipes, but them, the rest of them, like, well, some of them's in jail and shit, but they done been able to, like, drop game, fan bases, views, all this shit, and it all roots back to that situation. What I was going to ask you is, even the way that they went about it, and I asked niggas like, yeah, yo, and he realized it. Do you niggas be realizing the influence? Do you feel like y'all... CJ, low key, Bugatti, y'all really feel like niggas influence the next generation to be on the shit that they on, like the way they go about it. Yeah, we it kind of do because that's what's going on and that's what they watching. But you know what I'm saying? The most every chance I get, bro, I try to always tell niggas in front of me like, bro, stay out the way. This, you know what I'm saying? Like I always been my young nigga, like, bro, this ain't this, this the shit you see that's going on, bro. This shit not what's up, bro. This shit gonna lead to. Yeah. Only a couple of players, bro. You don't see too many niggas stay in the game and win off this shit without going through no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like niggas getting on the internet. It's easy to stay out the way they snitch. It's, it's, yeah. it's easy yeah. to it's easy to stay out the way, bro. Niggas just don't want to stay out the way. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was out the way before this shit. Mm -hmm. I'm only in the way because you know what I'm saying. I'm ten flat behind my bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. That's, that's mandatory, but I got a. I'm ten flat behind them. My babies, like you know what I'm saying, like nigga. I I had it made as a young nigga, like nigga. I chose to go back to the hood to my mama house and thug with my brothers and sisters. So it's like nigga when it <clears throat> when it come to them niggas, it's like a whole different understanding with me. Like you know what I'm saying, they don't play with, like booting y'all niggas know they don't play with my brothers, bro. Like yeah, we already know this. We. I had these discussions, you know what I'm saying? Before it was an altercation. Like, bro, we already had these discussions. Like, nigga, you got a problem with my brothers, let me know. Yeah. I handle them, you know what I'm saying? Cause they get the tripping and one of them get hurt, bro, I'm going, I'm going there. And I, I, I really look at it like, bro, we ain't have no daddies growing up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's me. I played that role, you bro. know what I'm saying? Like, my older sister called me big, bro. You know what I'm saying? Little big brother. I'm, nigga, I'm the one that show his life, nigga. And it be that way though, cause bro, throughout this shit, like even a bunch of my partners, it, people, you know what I'm saying? Everybody results of coming to fuck with me about shit, you know what I'm saying? That's going on with them. And they, I'm coasting and keep real and ride for my people and try to keep the nigga out the way, bro. That's really all I be trying to do. Yeah. Keep my brother safe, keep him out the way. Man, if I gotta be 
the one who in the way to keep him out the way because he got he already in that position. I can get there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My life ain't over with, so it's like, bro, as long as I'm keeping us out the way, keeping us safe, keeping my young niggas out the way, making a way for these niggas to show them that nigga, just because a nigga did take off and then come give, come back to the block and niggas feel like, oh, nigga didn't come back to the block and, and scoop niggas, nigga, I'm coming left. You know what I'm saying? Just tell you, it's niggas going to come back. Yeah. I'm coming scooping my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I, you know what I'm saying? But I've been knowing little bro a few months. Mm -hmm. These my little niggas. And I'm putting <clears> these <throat> niggas in and showing these niggas, like, bro, you, you can go through a lot, but it's how you overcome this shit. I'm good. It's like, I know at the end of the day, I ain't going to crash myself out. You know what I'm saying? Not yeah, really. a lot of shit look like it. The internet shit, the, all that shit be looking like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm already three or four steps ahead of my other plans already. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I'm making my own plays right now, bro. I got plays in in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I got plays yeah. in California, bro. I'm music, as far as music wise, I'm connected with motherfuckers and shit like that, bro. I did a feature with one of my one of my partners. I did a feature with shout out Lil Ken. You know what I'm saying? NSC Lil Ken. That nigga I already had talks with the game and shit like that. Like, you know, right. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. he's pushing like them niggas doing them. Man. I be getting my little recognition that I feel like I was I'm supposed to get like, you know what I'm saying? The three stuff for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Spirit Spring and pulling up for them to blood this thing and saying, oh yeah, I know I'm right. They got the munchies, so you know. I <laughs> <laughs> got the eating the cake. Nah, for real. Shout out, man. 2021 whole game going through. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Bunch of dang shit.